Bucs wanted to push the pace uh, even more than, than you usually do against a team like Indiana. Did you see an advantage there with with how much they rely on their bigs and, and how quickly you guys can play when you're on? Yeah, I mean, um, they are big and they are physical and they are strong. Like, good Lord, like you walk next to a couple of those kids and they are, they are big, strong, physical guys and they're athletic and they're skilled. Um, you know, we just thought our advantage – uh, was being able to uh, space the floor, play with great pace, and generate offense that way. You know, every team is going to play to their strengths. Now, listen, that's not to say Indiana doesn't excel in transition. In fact, I think that's one of the things they do the best. I mean, we we focused a lot on their transition offense. Um, you know, if you look at the 380 clips of the offensive long edit that my assistant gave me right after we played Winthrop the other day. I mean, the first 120 of them were transition, whether it's on ball speed, you know, with number one, uh, 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 big boy run into the rim, kick aheads, attaching, we, we post ups early, ball screens early. We really, really focused, you know, on their, on their transition first and foremost, but that's kind of our deal and what we do best. By the way, Noah's here too, and he played his butt off. <laughs> Corey Bozmer on Zoom. Hello, Coach. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, Two-part question. First part's for Noah. Noah, um, when you bounce back and go through a tough game like Tennessee, how do you personally use that to help you have a good game like you did today? And then Coach Pat, how important is it to in building a culture for coaches to be coachable? So uh, playing Tennessee, uh, they kind of punched us in the mouth. Uh, they were the more physical team, 100%. Um, so we kind of told ourselves that we weren't going to let that happen anymore. Uh, and I think it kind of showed today. Uh, we came out there and uh, we started hitting them first. Uh, and most of the time, the most physical team uh, wins. Uh, they're, Indiana's a really good team. Uh, but we just had to hit them and get some rebounds and play at our pace. Uh, so I think – the Tennessee uh, loss really uh, showed us things that we had to improve on. And then throughout the week, uh, we had a long little bye, uh, and we really just focused on those things, uh, and it kind of showed the day. So. You're at the same question? Is that what you asked? Well, the, the, I asked, um, in building a culture, how important is it for a coach to be coachable himself? I mean, heck yeah. I mean, I, I sure as heck am the first one to sit up here and say, I don't have all the answers, you know? Um, yeah. So heck yeah. That's why I have a phenomenal staff. You know, I've said it from my press conference on and every time anybody asks me about it, I think I have the best basketball staff in the country. They are loyal, loyal, loyal. They work their butts off. They are diligent in what they do. They love our players. They pour into them every day and they hold me accountable. Right. You don't want everybody in your room to be yes men and tell you what you want to hear. Those guys will go at my teeth, too. So. Um, so, yes, I, I'm I'm coachable now. I'm emotional, too. I'm a little bit passionate. So sometimes those rooms get a little heated when we walk yeah. out. We love each other, arms around each other. And we're one unified voice. Brooks Holton on Zoom. Hey, Pat, you kind of spoke about, you know, just how quick of a turnaround this is for your team. I'm wondering if you can take us through the process, you know, of what these next few hours will look like in terms of scouting your next opponent yeah. um, in that game going on right now. This one's over. But we always say enjoy the wins because wins are hard to get. Usually it's like, hey, enjoy it tonight. Wake up tomorrow. It's over. Uh, we had to turn the page to the next game the moment we walked out of that locker room because we're going to play a big time heavy hitting team tomorrow at noon. So with these guys. It's about getting off their feet. It's about recovering. They got to get out of this press conference so they can go get off their feet, get some sleep, hydrate, eat. Um, you know, coaches will be pouring over tape. Obviously, we don't know who our opponent is yet. That game's starting. So um, I'll go in and watch the rest of that one so I can put my eyeballs on both of the teams. And um, then we'll prepare the rest of the day. We'll get back together with the team later on tonight. Um, try to be short and sweet with our prep, focus on our principles. Uh, we'll get together in the morning again to go through special situations, baseline out of bounds, and it's just the normal process of getting ready for a game. The most important game in the history of our program is the next one we play, and uh, our guys will have that mentality for the next 24 hours. Tyler, do you have another question on Zoom? Yeah, one for Noah, uh, uh, actually. Noah, obviously, uh, 
between you, James, uh, some of the other bigs, you guys had a big task in, in guarding Malik and, and Ballo. Just well, what did you think was key in, in trying to get them uncomfortable as much as you could with, you know, without fouling? There's a couple of those here and there, but you guys mainly held them down. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think – I think it's our whole team. Uh, we had really good bottoms, uh, so when they tried to throw it over, we'd be able to go uh, – uh, get the ball, and uh, we, we were really conscientious of uh, Milo and, and a couple of the bigs because they're, they're really good players. Um, so, we like I said before, we just had to be more physical. Um, and really, on the blackout, we were we were just hitting our man, and everybody crashed. Uh, and you can see on the stat sheets, a lot of a lot of the guards, we got a lot of the rebounds because we were just focusing on hitting them. Uh, so, it's, it's five, uh, five of our guys versus them, so not just one of us. Brooks, again on Zoom. Yeah, this question is for Chucky. You know, um, you, know you talked yesterday about you know um, me just uh, kind of having like you know, you know like a little bit of um, extra extra um, I guess a uh, juice for this game uh, since you lost to Indiana last year and the last time you played at Wisconsin. Um, I'm just wondering, you know, when you come out and uh, set the table like you did uh, with that steal and that layup on the first possession, um, could you kind of talk about you know um, you know your mindset? I'm heading into this game and you know just how good it felt, you know, maybe to get that tone set really quickly. Yeah, um, really just can't be this mindset just against this one team. It's got to be mindset every game. Um, that's the way I got to play every every time I step on the floor. Um, just getting that first defense stop, getting a, a kill, which is three stops in a row for to start the game. And, you know, that's, that's what we're going to have to do if we want to be these good teams. And we're going to have to be the more physical teams every time we play a team. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. All right, guys. Get out of here.